So the best answer here is choice A, CNS lymphoma. Let's look at some of the key findings that make choice A the best answer in this case. You see there's a mass lesion that crosses splinting of the corpus callosum. So my top three differential diagnosis for mass lesion crossing corpus callosum is choice A, B, C, CNS lymphoma, high grade glioma or GBM, and tumor effective MS or tumor effective demyelinating lesion. But the enhancement pattern here is homogeneous. So the intraaxial lesion was relatively large in size without any central necrosis, especially the ones involving the corpus callosum or the one that involving the central structure. I think about CNS lymphoma in an immunocompetent patient. Remember, in immunocompromised patient, CNS lymphoma may show quite a bit of central necrosis or REM enhancement pattern. So this homogeneous enhancement is very good for CNS lymphoma in a immunocompetent patient. Also, you can see there's restricted diffusion, which for CNS lymphoma or other high-grade glioma signify hypercellularity. Another point that they may ask you on board exam is that CNS lymphoma has even lower diffusion, lower diffusivity compared to GBM. The reason being that it is a small blue round cell tumor, which has a high nucleus to cytoplasm ratio. So they can further cause reduced diffusivity compared to other high-grade glioma. So that might be the point that you want to uh, notice on board exam. So combining all the findings that we see here, choice A is the best answer. So let's look at other answers that's not good uh, for this case. So do you remember when you see a lesion, mass lesion crosses corpus callosum, you should think about CNS lymphoma, high-grade glioma, or tumor effective lesion, tumor effective MS. So as far as choice B and C is concerned, the enhancement pattern is not good. For, G, for GBM, for example, they tend to show a lot of central necrosis. So you have this thick, ugly REM enhancement, not this homogeneous enhancement. Classically, for tumor effective MS or tumor effective lesion, the enhancement pattern is more peripheral enhancement or incomplete REM enhancement so-called the advanced border or uh, horseshoe enhancement, not this homogeneous enhancement. So choice B and C are not the best choice. For radiation necrosis, they also can mimic hybrid glioma. Therefore, they should also look like something with a lot of central necrosis, not homogeneous enhancement. Lastly, uh, for diffuse axonal injury, even though patient does have a history of uh, recent trauma, but for for diffuse axonal injury, uh, I would like to see other DAI scattered throughout different places, not just involvement, a solo lesion across the corpus callosum. Even though this is the location that DAI likes to go and they do show restricted diffusion, but I would imagine that you will see much more um, evidence of other lesion compared to just a single lesion. So choice A remains the best answer in this case. Thank you for your attention. Good luck on your exam.